Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to hit the increasing space weather alert situation. We'll see how planetary species diversity is extremely lopsided, and we'll see a story about limb eruptions in the changing magnetic field of Earth over time. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we will once again see eruptions around the limbs, but little in the Earth-facing position. We've been eyeing the emergence of new sunspot groups, new active regions, and they're now not only visible, but are amplifying the solar flaring baseline. Here's what the Earth-facing half of the sun looks like at the surface, but it's way over to the left where our focus is found. At the side, you can see two complex groups incoming. The northern one fired an M4 solar flare overnight in the early morning hours, actually. And more should probably be expected given their high activity levels the last week. Quick look at that X-ray flux to see the flaring marks continue to be on the rise. Wouldn't be shocked if that continues this week as the sunspots will cross the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. You should be able to see the flashes at the limb here in the dimmed 131 angstrom view. Interestingly, these incoming limb eruptive events have surged the high-energy protons. Now that's curious because this is the one place where the IMF should really struggle to send those particles to Earth. First time I have ever seen proton enhancements from eruptive behavior on the incoming limb. Interesting paper up next. Folks, they found that just a handful of animal and plant species are responsible for about 80% of the diversity of life. Some species are chugging along at an evolutionary snail's pace, while others, the vast majority, appear to trace back to similar lines and show a drastically more widespread adaptation and change of DNA than the others. Now, last but not least, folks, couldn't be a more appropriate day to have this study on how limb eruptions can impact the Earth, except this one is describing the other side of the sun, the right side, the departing limb, where we do expect the potential for Earth to be impacted by high-energy protons. They also have an interesting graphic on auroral latitudes over time. It's interesting to see how the breadth and position of the lowest latitude auroras is changing over time as the magnetic field of Earth shifts into high gear the last century in its magnetic pole shift, which is due to complete in the next 10 to 25 years. There's still plenty of time to come out and see us at one of our big events. Make sure you sign up for the one you want to attend through the website. In addition to the events that we've established, folks, it's looking like we're aiming to do the premiere event for the documentary on November 15th. We're working to confirm that after many of you told me, do not have it Thanksgiving weekend. You have been heard. Head over to ObserverRanch.com and check it all out. Book your stay, and we can't wait to shake your hand. ObserverRanch.com we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.